Hey there, internet. I am the PC Goblin. So in this video, I'm gonna be tearing apart or delitting my 7700K. Now I did this a little bit ago, but I originally had the 7700K installed in my system that I had the glass custom loop built onto. And while it was amazing performance for my GPUs, my CPU, I couldn't ever really get it to cool down to you know where you'd expect it to be. So in that system, I tested a whole bunch of different overclocks and played with it, of course. I found that I could only have the CPU set to 4.8 gigahertz, and even then I was hitting an average of about like 80 degrees under more or less normal workloads, and if I ran handbrake, it'd kick it up to 90 and it'd run really, really hot. So something obviously wasn't right. My thermal paste was good. I know my cooling loop was fine because my GPUs, which run a whole lot hotter than the CPU, you were running at 50 degrees max, maybe 55. I've since then torn off my custom loop and whatnot. I've been running it and testing it with different things, but I finally delitted it, which is kind of a scary process, but it it is worth it and it's a whole lot of fun. So let's go ahead and go through the delitting process and I'll be back.
and I'm back. That's how you delit a 7700K. Like I said at the first of the video, it is a little bit intimidating, but it is fairly easy to do. When you're tightening the screw to pop off the IHS, that's about the scariest part because it'll make a really loud pop most of the time. It did it on this CPU, but it's just really uncomfortable because you got to crank down on that super, super hard and you feel like you're gonna break the CPU, but you're not. Just keep going, you're okay. I hope the footage was helpful for you, but I found that delitting the CPU had a huge effect on it. So before, like I mentioned, I was getting like 80 degrees at 4.8 gigahertz with my full-on custom loop. It's now sitting inside my wife's system and it never goes above 60 or 61 degrees centigrade. And about it never going over 60 or 61 degrees C, that's also under extreme load too. Like when I'm running lots and lots of handbraking codes on it, it never goes over to the 60 or 61. It runs at that all day with no issues. It's not with the fans running at full tilt or whatever trying to cool it as fast as possible. That's with the Kraken settings set to just silent or whatever so like it never gets loud when it's doing that. It just runs perfectly. So by delitting it at the max I've shaved off at least 20 degrees and I've bumped up my overclock to at least 5 gigahertz. I'm pretty sure I can go further but I just haven't cared enough to spend the time to play around with it and see if I can get it to go up higher. So that's it for this video. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you didn't, well, you know what to do. And hopefully you do like my stuff and wanna see more of it, so you'll hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you later.